What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video and in this one, well, 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 we got another IPO. Now yesterday we had Roblox IPO and unfortunately I didn't get to cover that but I really wanted to cover this one because this company is interesting and it is Coupang, ticker symbol CPNG, a company that is actually Korean and IPO'd and I really think is something that has a lot of potential. It's in a way like the Korean Amazon and they are, in my opinion, it, it, there's a lot of room for growth, okay? So we're going to talk about the company. I'm going to tell you guys what I think about the prediction, and I'm going to tell you guys, you know, why it really wasn't a good idea for people to invest into this company right now, uh, and we're going to get into that, okay? So let's get right into it. So first off, I do want to say, guys, obviously, do your own due diligence, and if there's anything I missed in this video, please do let me know. Drop a comment down below, uh, and, you know, feel free to share your thoughts. So, Coupang, it opened at $63.50 a share today, and guys, a few things that I do want to mention, the IPO of 130 million shares was priced at $35 each on Wednesday, and they raised $4.6 billion in its IPO, making the company about $60 billion. Now, Coupang's offering is the biggest IPO in the United States this year so far. That's very interesting. This will also be the second largest listing for an Asian company after the company Alibaba. So again, very cool, very interesting. I think this is also kind of cool. The company's name is a mix of the word coupon and pang, which is the Korean sound for hitting the jackpot. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, that's kind of cool. Uh, another thing, guys, is SoftBank is actually the largest shareholder with 35% stake in the company. And guys, more, there's more stats over here because this is very interesting to note. Coupang saw sales jump more than 90% last year to $11 billion. It also doubled its workforce to 50,000 people in 2020. And guys, you know, I really want to read this out as well because I thought this was very interesting. And this is actually from the Yahoo Finance uh, discussion page where this person says, hey, there's a few things you must understand. Apparently, this guy's uh, Korean. And he says, the one thing, rocket delivery. If you order before, uh, I believe that's midnight or whatever, Delivery will be delivered at 7 a.m. the next day. Uh, Rocket Fresh, which is, you know, they have food, vegetables, uh, they have people vegetables twice, but fruits, all that stuff. If you order food by midnight, um, I'm pretty sure that's either midnight or noon, it will be delivered at the front door by 7 a.m. the next day. Uh, food delivery agency, direct delivery of all restaurant foods across the country. So I'm guessing that's kind of like skip the dishes or like uh, Uber Eats. Uh, home shopping, so open home shopping and internet application and sell it by show host, of course. Again, I'm, like I feel like this guy you know, isn't the best with English, but this sounds very interesting. Uh, another thing I want to share with you guys is, uh, where is, it? is this one right? Was it that one? Yeah, this, this comment right here. So for Koreans, Coupang is a company that has always said to be bankrupt soon for about seven years. While they order food, staples, groceries, and all their goods from Coupang every day with rocket delivery. Remember, Korean e-commerce is the fourth largest market in the world, and other Coupang competitors are not even close or rivalry to what Coupang has innovated e Korean e-commerce market so far. Uh, recently, the backing up investor SoftBank Sun started collaborating with Korean IT company to establish the first Korean Japan big tech company Z Holdings. Now, like I said, guys, I also want to show you guys, you know, this website you know this is the coupang website like obviously this is in korean so i don't really know but you know there's i guess like blankets there's you know lotion or soap or whatever this is ferro rocher makeup <laughs> clothing like it's interesting they have like pretty much everything like this kind of reminds me of like you know like amazon like this is kind of like what you would expect like, you can find everything and anything you know food home like office supplies like they literally it looks like they have like everything that you could ever ask for uh and even their like logo kind of reminds me of uh, ebay but yeah i, I want to show you guys the website too if you're korean you know you know what this all says i have no idea i'm not korean uh, another thing is guys this article as well i strongly recommend you guys go check it out because it does also just talk about a bit more of the statistics um like i said this is just uh on yahoo finance and yeah guys i do want to say the lockup exception so there is actually a lockup period and you know this is I talked about this in my Palantir video, and usually it pretty much means that certain people, they're not allowed to sell shares for six months or more until the IPO. But Coupang's investors have agreed to a 180-day lockup, and that period is pretty much shorted by the exceptions the company provided. So some employees can start selling shares as soon as six days after the IPO, as long as the company trades above its IPO price. 
Existing investors that are registered can sell a portion of their holdings in 12 days, provided the stock trades up at least 33% from the offer price of $35. So we might see a bit of a sell-off, you know, within a few days, again, assuming that all this stuff happens. So that's another thing I want you guys to note for. And guys, with IPOs, you know, if you are in my stock market course, there is a specific lecture just talking about IPOs and why I never buy IPOs on the first few days and why you realistically shouldn't either. Now, Coupang, like I said, guys, it started selling at $64 and then boom, huge sell off um, $50 range. And then boom, now it's at the $49 range. It is at $50 after hours. But guys, usually with IPOs and, you know, I talk about this in my stock market course, link in the first description, go like the first link in the description, go check it out. It's only a hundred bucks. Go get it. I always talk about how IPOs and I don't like to play them for my specific reasoning. Now, the problem is with IPOs, they're super hyped. They pop up for the few days and then it starts to crash. And then people think that it's just going to go up and up and up forever. That's never the case. And it just crashes and everything just goes to hell. So guys, remember with Coupang, definitely I am expecting it to you know probably rally up a little bit more and then go down. Right. That happens with Airbnb. That happened with a bunch of other IPOs. Like I said, if you guys want to know the whole like reasoning behind it, if you guys want to actually learn about IPOs and how to play them properly, you know, make sure you grab my course. Uh, it's just one hundred dollars, like I said. But guys, Coupang, like I said, in my opinion, I do see this being a company that can easily double its stock price, um, especially with the market growth, especially with e-commerce being more and more popularized. You know, I like companies like this. I like Amazon. I like Shopify. I like companies that are really innovating and that are going to be leading industries and are adapting for the future, especially with, you know, the whole pandemic. I'm not surprised Coupang was able to grow like crazy within the past year. And I do expect people to continue to love e-commerce. I do expect e-commerce to grow, you know, insanely well. Um, and just, you know, factoring everything in, I really do think Coupang, Coupang sorry, is a pretty good stock. Uh, I think it's a pretty good company. Um, I do want to do some more research and due diligence as well. And I strongly recommend everyone do that as well. So guys, if you do have anything you want to say, you know, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments uh, as I'll be reading them and I'll be replying to all of them as well. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, stay seeking success.